Hello everyone, thank you for coming to my channel and now time to model some cool stuff. First delete the default cube, then add a mesh cylinder, scale it along the Z axis with S plus Z, click Ctrl plus A and apply scale, duplicate it with Shift plus D two times, select all with A and click right mouse button and shade auto smooth. Choose the bottom cylinder and switch to edit mode with tab. Choose loop as shown with an alt plus left mouse button. Press Ctrl plus B to bevel it. You can add more segments with the mouse wheel up or fewer segments with the mouse wheel down. I added 4 segments but feel free to add whatever you think is best. Choose a loop again but this time the one on the top and bevel it with Ctrl plus B. Switch back to object mode with tab. Now choose the cylinder in the middle and switch back to edit mode with tab. If it's necessary, scale it along the Z axis a bit with S plus Z. Choose the top loop as shown with the Alt plus left mouse click. Hold Shift plus Alt plus left mouse button, choose the bottom loop as well. Press Ctrl plus B to bevel the top and bottom parts at the same time. Click A to select all and scale with S a bit because this part needs to be a bit smaller than the bottom part. Switch to object mode with tab. Turn on the snapping tool. Change it from increment to face project so you can snap to the face. Click G to move it, click Z to snap it along the Z axis and then point to the face where you want to snap it. Now add a new mesh circle. Move it up with G and Z along the Z axis. Switch from selecting edges to selecting vertices with one. Choose vertices as shown with the left mouse click and hold shift so you can select more than one. Turn on the proportional editing with O and turn off snapping with shift plus tab. Click G and move vertices as shown while scrolling the mouse wheel so the area of influence becomes bigger. Now select other vertices as shown and do the same thing with proportional editing as in the previous step. This time select vertices again, but instead of moving with G, scale them a bit with S and after that move them with G. Play around a bit with proportional editing, you don't need to make it exactly as I did. This video is just to show you one of the ways to do it. So choose different vertices in your project, scale it differently and experiment, that way you will learn the fastest. When you are finished with the shape of the lettuce, first choose vertex as shown and then click Alt plus left mouse click to choose the whole loop. Click Ctrl plus F and choose Grid Fill. When you are using Grid Fill, pay attention to which vertices you are choosing for filling. You will get different Grid Fill if you choose different vertex. Try to experiment with it by choosing a different vertex than me and then undo it if you don't like the result. Choose vertices again as shown and use G and proportional editing to make the lettuce a bit protruding. Switch back to object mode with tab. Click the right mouse click and choose shade smooth. Click on the modifier properties and add the subdivision surface. Duplicate lettuce with shift plus D. Rotate it with R along Z axis so it looks like a different piece. Duplicate the lettuce with Shift plus D one more time and rotate with R. Choose all three pieces of lettuce, join them with Ctrl plus J and scale a bit with S along Z axis. Click Ctrl plus A and apply scale. Move the lettuce down with G and if necessary scale with S. Again, don't forget to apply scale. Add a new mesh, plane. Move it up with G, scale it with S a bit and apply scale. Switch to edit mode with tab. Click the right mouse button and choose subdivide. In the left bottom corner, settings for subdivision will appear where you can change some additional options. Change the number of cuts to 6 and switch to object mode with tab. Go to physics properties, click on clothed. Now choose lettuce and click collision. Click the spacebar to start animation. When you are satisfied with it, click the spacebar to stop the animation. Right click on the plane and choose Shade Smooth. Choose Properties and apply Cloth. Add Modifier Solidify. And add a modifier Subdivision Surface. 
Click on an upper button and switch to Edit Mode with Tab. Choose Loop as shown with an Alt plus left mouse click. Don't forget to turn off proportional editing if it is turned on. Move the loop with G plus Z along Z axis. And bevel it with Ctrl plus B. Choose the loop as shown and insert the new face with I, one time and then one more time. Click M and merge at the center. Choose loop as shown with Alt plus left mouse click and bevel it with Ctrl plus B. Switch back to object mode with tab and move the bun with G plus Z back on top of the cheese. Add mesh UV sphere. Scale it along the Y axis with S plus Y. Switch to edit mode with tab. Choose the bottom vertex and turn on proportional editing. Move it down with G while scrolling the mouse wheel. Switch to object mode with tab and right mouse click shade smooth. Scale it with S and click Ctrl plus A to apply scale. Click on the upper button and go to the particle settings. Click plus and change from emitter to hair, turn on advanced. Click on render, change from render as path to render as object. Click on the picker on the instance object and choose with picker seed that we made. Change the name to seed. Now rename all other objects, cheese, top bun, patty, bottom bun and lettuce. Try to remember to do that at the beginning of your project. It will be easier when you make your own project from scratch. I usually do that, but for some reason I forget to rename it every time I make a tutorial and release it too late. Ok, let's continue. Choose the top bun and in the rotation part put face to the maximum of 1 and randomize face to 2. Now you can see that the seeds are randomly positioned on the bun and it looks more natural this way. Switch hair length around 0.9 or whatever number looks best to you. Now the seeds are more natural in size and they look good on the bun, but we need to make it look even better. Click on vertex groups then on the top bun. Switch from the object mode to the weight paint and start painting. Change the radius to 240 pixels and with the left mouse button click on the bun. If you are wondering what you are doing now, you are preparing places where seeds will grow. So wherever you want to have seeds, paint them. Red color means a lot of seeds and blue color means no seeds. When you are finished, switch back to object mode. Go to the vertex groups and density and choose the group. Now go to the source and particle face and change the number to 15. You can also change the number in the emission part to a lower one if you think there are too many seeds. I change it to 500 but you can change it to whatever looks best to you. Now click on the seed object and hide it with age. We don't need it on the scene anymore but it will still appear on the bun. Adjust the camera, turn on camera to view so you can move the camera. When you are satisfied, turn off the camera to view so you can move freely and don't lose your perfect rendering angle. Change the render engine to Cyclus and the device to GPU if your graphic card is better than the processor. Also turn on the noise in the viewport. Now it's time for texturing. Click on the top bun and go to the material properties. Click New and rename the material to Buns. Add a new window on the right side, switch to the shader editor. Click N to hide that node part on the right. Add a gradient texture. Connect color from gradient texture to factor from color ramp. Connect color from color ramp with base color from principal PSDF. Choose the bottom bun. Go to material properties and choose buns from the drop down list. Connect vector from gradient texture with vector from mapping. Connect vector from mapping with object from texture coordinate. Change 
change the rotation of the mapping Y to 90 degrees. Click on the first color of color ramp and find the best fitting color for the bun. Do the same with the second color. In mapping, change the location of X to 0.15 meters. and play around more with both colors of the bun until you are satisfied. Unhide the seed and add new material, rename it to seed. Change the base color to the color you think is most fitting for the seed color. And put roughness at around 0.16 or any other number you think is the best. Hide the seed again with age. Adjust the color of the bun once again if necessary. Choose cheese. Add a new material and rename it to the cheese. Click on the base color and choose a color for the cheese. I chose dark orange. Change roughness around 0.2. Choose lettuce and add the new material. Rename it to lettuce. Change the base color to some green color, perfect for lettuce. Change roughness to around 0.2. Choose meat. Add new material and rename it to the meat. Add noise texture. Connect vector from noise texture with vector from mapping. Connect vector from mapping with object from texture coordinate. Connect factor from noise texture to factor from color ramp. Connect color from color ramp with base color from principal BSDF. Change the first color and second color in color ramp to some dark brown for meat. Change the detail in noise texture to 15. Change roughness to 1 and scale to 1. Connect factor from noise texture to height from bump. Connect normal from bump to normal from principal BSDF. Change roughness from noise texture to 0 0.5. And change roughness in principal BSDF around 0 0.7. If you are satisfied with your hamburger, click render and render an image. Before that, change samples and render to 512 because there is no need for 496 samples in this case. If you enjoy learning Blender with me, consider subscribing. Bye, see you next time!